Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and all the ships at sea. Welcome to tonight's Saturday, March 12th, 2022, Walpole Media Corporation broadcast of Walpole High School Boys Varsity MIAA Tournament Division II State Quarterfinal Action as the Canton High Bulldogs beat your Walpole High Timberwolves from the Gallo Arena in Bourne. My name is Rick Brown, your voice of Walpole High Sports. I'll be providing all the play-by-play -play action tonight. Well, it's been four days short of two years since Walpole won its state semifinal game against Archbishop Williams in this very rink. Just two days later, COVID-19 cut short everything as we know, as we used to know it. That game marked the third straight that the Rebels, yes, we were still known as the Rebels back then, had won at this Cape Cod rink after besting Duxbury and Falmouth. Unfortunately, all of the high school basketball and hockey teams that year had to share titles for state champions. Tonight's winner will play the victor of the number one seed Norwood versus number eight North Quincy in the state semifinals. Walpole, the number six seed in division two, is 13 and seven and two overall, and in second place in the Hergett division of the Bay State Conference. The Timberwolves are 6-4 and one on the road, have scored a 68 goals while allowing 51. The orange and blue advanced with their finest showing of the year, a hot stopping two to one shootout victory over Wakefield in the round of 16 contest after a nine to four route of Mansfield behind four goals and an assist from Jason Finkelstein. In the Wakefield victory, senior goalie Tim Aplanap stood on his head to earn the victory, stopping all but one shot through 45 minutes of regulation, seven minutes of four on four sudden death overtime, and seven minutes of three on three sudden death overtime before stoning all five Warrior skaters in the shootout. Eddie Jackson netted Walpole's goal in regulation, and fellow 11th grader Matt Biancooley potted the only goal in the shootout for the win. Let's see. Canton is one of the, if not the, hottest team in the state right now with 20 consecutive victories, a 22 and one overall slate in winners of the Davenport division of the Hockamott League at eight and oh. The number three seed in D2, the Bulldogs are six and one on the road and have outscored their opponents 107 to 29. The Bulldogs started the season slowly, falling to Lincoln Sudbury Regional 5-4 and Franklin 4-1 before earning a 1-1 tie with Barnstable. The latter game was a wake-up call for the Green and White, which has since rolled all over victories past Hanover 5-0, Franklin 2-1, King Phillip 4-3, Newburyport 3-1, Oliver Rames 7-0, Attleboro 6-0, Foxborough 9-1, North Attleboro 5-0, Burlington, four to nothing. Taunton, eight to one. Natick, two to one. Bishop Fian, seven to one. Mansfield, seven to two. Reading, four to three. Smithfield, Rhode Island, six to nothing. Needham, five to nothing. And Boston Latin School, six to two. Before ousting Plymouth South, three to nothing. And Plymouth North, four to one from tournament play. In fact, since their opening two losses, only twice have the Bulldogs allowed more than two goals in the game. So Walpole is gonna have their work cut out for them to try to find the back of the net against this Canton team. <laughs> Junior Jason Finkelstein continues to lead Walpole in scoring with 13 goals and as many assists for 26 points. Four more than his left wing senior tri captain Declan Hunter, who has 12 goals and 10 assists. We see that uh, we will wait now for the playing of the national anthem.
with the playing of our national anthem, along with a resounding uh, effort by the Walpole High Brigade, stand, sitting up in the stands there. We will be getting underway shortly. Away, uh, blue uniforms with orange piping, orange and white piping and lettering. And uh, Canton in their white uniform with green numbers and green piping. Getting ready for our opening face-off here. And we're underway. Canton wins the face-off. Sent it up ahead to Brendan Torgi, thrown back in by Ryan Doucette. Walpole gets it, Mott Van Cooley sends it behind, gets it back again. Looking ahead, gets it over back, up to the boards. There's a break for uh, Joey Cox coming down and Puck hits one of the Canton players on the bench. Faceoff will be right in front of the Canton bench. Jason Finkelstein taking the uh, draw for Walpole. He wins it, slip, 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 flips it into the Canton zone. There's a break coming in here for uh, Eddie Gillis. Shot behind the net. Timmy Ablanap in the net again for Walpole. Canton controlling the puck here early. Clear into the corner. The one after for Walpole is Griffin Curran. There's a shot steered aside by Tim to the left side. Finkelstein dumps it into the zone. Picked up there by Jay Kelleher for the Bulldogs. Brennan Picaro sends it into, brings it into the corner. Chasing it around behind. It's picked up there by Will Blakely. He has it stolen by uh, Chris Toronto. Coming up along those, kept it at the left point. High shot, dumped down. There's a break out for Walpole. Finkelstein comes over, crosses the line, fires, looking for the high, far corner. A little wide of the net. Goes in behind the Canton net. Coming up to uh, Bill Delello. Walpole throws it in behind the net, going around to pick it up is uh, Grady Murphy. He sends it ahead to Andrew Falzone, chasing it down behind the net along with Murphy. Team's banging away there. Kent comes away with it. Up the board to Billy DeLello. He loses it to uh, Ben Cooley. Matt dumps it out to the neutral zone. Bringing it back in is uh, James Young for Canton. Walpole gets it up off the boards. Canton. Leo Owens with it for the green and white. Ian Cully. Cooley sends it up along the boards to Ryan Walsh. Ryan dumps it in. Being chased there by Eddie Jackson. Jackson had the regulation go for Walpole. Oh, a shot! Saved by off of a Jackson was set up at the right post and his uh, shot was stopped by uh, goalie Colin Davis. Canton dumping the puck in. Being Cooley picks it up. Matt drops it off. Coming up is uh, Jack Walsh, one of Walpole's tri captains. Walpole changing on the fly. Here comes Canton. Bouncing puck, a bad bounce puck by Canton. It misplayed by Applenap in the net. Canton takes the lead at 322. Bouncing puck, a simple shot, it just bounced the wrong way. 
He was at the right post and just bounced right over his glove. And uh, Canton takes an early lead here, one to nothing. So it's uh, Andrew Valconis. Andrew Valconis gets credit for the goal for uh, Canton. Blakely keeps the puck in at the left point. It's taken away by Finkelstein. Finkelstein gets it back. Nope. Canton comes out with it. And this will be icing. And it'll come back. Two for a faceoff to the right of uh, Canton goalie Carla Davis. Eamon Kelly with an assist on that goal along with uh, Brendan Torgi. Okay, the faceoff goes into the corner. Walpole comes up with a shot and a save by uh, off of Timmy Donahue for Walpole. Face off again to the left of Davis in the Canton net. Face off shot right off the face off. But it was blocked before it could get through to uh, the goalie. Coming down is Eddie Gillis. He drops it back to the point. Flipped in back by, by Brendan Percaro. Ian Cooley battling forward in the corner along with uh, Tommy Fanouf for Canton. Shot in front, comes up to the head out just wide on the far side. Frankie Gavoni with it for Walpole. They get it up along the boards, it's cleared out, center ice, but uh, Canton is able to dump it back in. It's picked up there by A.J. Thomas. He sends it across over to uh, Brian Middleton. Middleton has it stolen. Walpole, oh, this is back in there, kept it in. A shot, knocked out of the way, cleared off to the corner. Picking it up there is uh, James Young for Canton. He dumps it into the Walpole zone. Comes out to center ice. Battling along the boards is uh, Declan Hunter. Hunter kicks it ahead. No, I'm sorry, that's uh, Albert Lasad who kicks it ahead. Coming down the side is Billy Delello for Canton. He loses the puck to Grady Murphy. Murphy sends it around behind the boards to Blakely, Blakely sends it over to Andrew Fawkes. Fawkes comes up with it, dumps it into center ice, where it's picked up by Murphy, a shot, glove save by Davis. Reached up and caught that before it could get inside the top corner. Face off will be to his right. 9.03 left to go in the first period. Canton on top, one to nothing. Finkelstein taking the draw for the Timberwolves. Canton wins the draw over to Sean Conley. Taken away by Fawkes. Comes back up to Finkelstein who loses a skate there for a second. Well, post on nice hands off to Finkelstein. Going down the left boards. Finkelstein battling from a seated position. And the face comes up to center ice where Griffin Curran comes up with it. He drops it back. Finkelstein takes it. Big collision with uh, Jack DiGirolamo. De 
Staying in at the point. Comes out to center ice. Here's a breakout for Andrew Volkanis again. He's got the first uh, goal for um, Canton. Coming in for Walpole. Shot saved by uh, Joey Cox's shot. Comes right out in front, taken away by Damon Kelly for the Bulldogs. He's going down, three on three. Kelly going around, looks, spies it through the crease. Nobody there for Canton. Jack Walsh sends it up to uh, Ryan Walsh, his bro younger brother. And Jack gets it back now. Walpole slowing things down a little bit. He gets it ahead to Bian Cooley. Bian Cooley gets it up to Cox. Well, can't get it in. Well, okay, Cox does, but it's picked off by uh, Brennan Percaro for Canton. Percaro, uh, no, uh, Eddie Gillis bringing it down along the boards. Walpole comes out. Cross ice pass to uh, Griffin Curran. Curran throws it behind the net. Comes out to center ice and Curran picks it up. Dumps it back in where Davis corrals it, slows things down. 6.45 left in the first period. Fired a long shot on that, gloved and held on to by Davis on an Andrew Folks shot from outside the blue line. So the faceoff will be to uh, Davis's left. Tim Donahue taking this, the draw for Walpole. Faceoff won by Canton, but it's picked up by Andrew Falzone. Looks in front. Oh, there's nobody there. This will go the whole length of the ice. Applinap has to stop it and settle it down. So he sends it up to the right side. It's taken there by Donahue. Goes behind the net. Donahue again up the boards to Falzone. Falzone tries, can't get it out, but Donahue sends it over to Andrew Fouts. And it goes into the Canton zone, where it's again taken by Donahue. Donahue fires into the center ice area. Picked up there by Jeffrey Ch Chaput. And Walpole will start out with Fouts sending ahead. His pass is stolen. Shot high up over the net. Back in another one. And again, Walpole having trouble clearing. And it's still behind the net. There's a save behind the net by Ablanap. Ablanap looking like he did in the uh, last game. Stoning the uh, Canton players. All right. Puck goes down behind the net. Coming up with it. Oh. Looking for uh, Cox, couldn't connect with them. Here comes Colin Blake. His shot doesn't get through. Walpole with the puck. Goes it over. There's a break for Walpole. Ryan Walsh with it. Goes behind the net. He has it ridden off his skate stick. Coming back for Hinton, who loses the puck, is uh, Brendan Torgi. Comes up to Jackson. Eddie kicks it over to uh, Joey Cox. And Canton looking for somebody. They can't connect. Walpole will pick it up. It's being Cooley with the puck. Goes behind the Walpole net. Drops it back off on the other side. Walsh over there for Walpole. And Finkelstein will pick it up to being Cooley. Being Cooley up along the boards. Goes again behind the net. Uh, Tommy Fanouf there for Canton, battling hard. Comes over to uh, Curran, too, too far ahead for Hunter. He couldn't quite catch up to it. Curran there, here comes Tommy Fanouf for the Bulldogs. Cuts towards the middle, backhand, wide of the net on the left side. Thrown in front and Applinap smothers the puck at his left post. 
with 3.41 left to go in the first period. Canton on top, one to nothing on a goal by Advis Banakis, Andrew Banakis. Face off to Tim's left. Finkelstein taking the, uh, no, Cox, Joey Cox taking the draw for Walpole. He wins it. Here comes a break for uh, Canton. Sam Carlino throws it into the side of the net. Jackson with the puck for Walpole. He's looking for and he has uh, Cox. Cox dumps it in. They leave to get some fresh ice legs on the ice. Here's a steal oh, by Ryan Walsh, but there was no one in front for Walpole, just white jerseys. Ryan Doucette having some trouble trying to get out of the zone. He gets it again. Sends it up ahead to uh, Jeffrey Chaput. Blakely loses, shot and a save by Aplanap, and he smothers it at his feet for a faceoff to his left. With 2.44 left in the first period, the Timberwolves trailing one to nothing in this Division II state quarterfinal game. Off to Applenap's left. Finkelstein taking it. One by Canton. Shot is blocked. There'll be a race to it. Hunting down. Hunter hunting it down. Drops it over to the side. Goes behind the net. Hunter is over. He's tripped. And there'll be a penalty on Canton. It might have been even been the goalie who made who tripped him. Interference the call. And it's on, uh, I think it's on the goalie, so. Oh no, it's on Walpole. Oh, I don't believe that. Hunter, interference, the time of the penalty, 12.31. Uh, Wait a minute. Oh, it wasn't on Hunter. I didn't think it was on, on Hunter. It is on Hunter, I don't believe it. They call an interference on him on the it goalie interference. I don't believe it. That was uh So it'll be Walpole uh shorthanded now, but somehow they they said that Hunter interfered with the goalie, but Hunter was the one that got tripped up and sent to the ice by the goalie, Davis. Anyway, it'll be a power play for Canton with 2.29 left to go in the first period. Bulldogs already on top, one to nothing. Face off to Aplanap's left. Cleared out the length of the ice by Walpole. Walpole. Conley with the puck for Canton. He dishes it off to uh, Torgi. Torgi up to the point to Picaro. Picaro. Uh, Kelly with the puck. Back to uh, Torgi. Picaro. I'm sorry, back to Picaro. Shot through a screen, blocked in front by Walpole. Up but not out. Save of the right pad by uh, Aplanap. Canton comes right back in. High over the net. And it comes outside the zone. 
all the way into the Canton zone. Michael Leonetti. Saved by Apple and there. Circling around. 20 seconds left on the power play for the Bulldogs. Shot saved by Apple and He clears it away. Rebound save again. Timmy comes up strong again. 36.3 seconds left to go in the period. Eight seconds left on the power play. Face off to Apple and Apps right. Walpole wins the draw. Canton keeps it in. Circling around, a shot cleared wide. The uh, net came off the uh, stanchion, so that was what the whistle was for. 27 and a half seconds left in the first period. Walpole up, uh, trailing one to nothing. Both teams at full strength now. Walpole wins the draw. Blakely has it. Circles it around to uh, Curran. Curran gets it to Walsh. Picked up by uh, Hinton. Shot blocked in front. Three seconds, two, one. And that'll be the end of the period. As the horn sounds, ending the first period. The only goal so far in the game came just three minutes and 22 seconds in when a, a Seemingly inconspicuous bouncing puck uh, bounced over Tim uh, Applenap's stick into the uh, goal. Uh, it was scored by um, Andrew Valkanis with uh, Eamon Kelly and Brendan Torigi uh, assisting on the play. That's the way we stand now. After one period, where the teams are going to take a break. We'll do the same. We'll be back shortly with second period action. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to second period action here from the John Gallo Arena in Bourne, where your Timberwolves trail the Canton Bulldogs one to nothing after one period of play. This uh, rink is packed, both uh, sides, loads and loads of red, white, and blue Walpole uh, Brigade supporters here, taking up uh, the whole uh, left side of the stands here. Tremendous outpouring of Walpole support. The same can be said about Canton's side. Uh, the Bulldogs uh, all over the place, but it's Walpole again showing their pride for these Timberwolves. Uh, the only goal of the game was a fluke. Happened 322 into the contest with Andrew Valconis dumping in a puck from the uh, left point that took a weird bounce and bounced over uh, Tim Ablinap's uh, stick for the goal. Uh, Eamon Kelly and Brendan Torgi picked up assists on it. Uh, that was the only scoring. Walpole killed off the only uh, power play of the game with uh, Declan Hunter was called for interference on a, a play that I thought should have been uh, a call with um, uh, the goalie, uh, Colin Davis, being sent in, but instead they called Hunter. Anyway, we're ready for second period action. Walpole uh, will be going right to left on your screen. Puck won by Walpole. Bringing it down is uh, Ryan Walsh. Sends it over, shot, save, and held on to by Davis. Good shot by uh, Eddie Jackson. Coming down on the right, cutting to the right to make uh, the shot. Face off will be to Davis's right. 
Hawks taking the draw for Walpole. Another shot right off the faceoff. Davis was ready for it. He gets the uh, save. Face off one by Canton. They bring it behind the net. Sent around. Chasing it down is Jackson. He loses it to uh, Fanouf for Canton. It comes out to center ice where Jack Walsh gets it. Dumps it into the far corner. He comes up to the side. Jackson takes the player out. Fired over off the wall. A little bit ahead of Walsh. Cox chasing it in along with uh, Jackson. Big hit thrown there by Ryan Walsh. Walpole comes up with the ball. They come coming back for Sean Connolly and offsides the call on Canton. Faceoff will be outside the uh, blue line, pretty much in front of the Walpole Media Corporation broadcast team of outstanding cinematographer Nick Peccarilli. Helping me out for this game as he doing another outstanding job. The ball, the puck stolen by uh, Valkanis. He sends it up to Kelly. Walpole comes away with it. Coming down is Cam Hint. No, it was uh, Curran throwing him behind the net. Davis clears it into the corner. It's picked up there by Valkanis again. He gets it up, but not out. it does come out now. There's a break. Torgi coming in for Canton, a shot, save, and a score on the rebound. Valkanis gets his second of the game. Time of the goal, 125. And uh, Torgi will get one assist. As uh, Applinat made the first save, the puck came out, and he couldn't get back up in time to stop the rebound from going in. <laughs> Eamon Kelly, the same crew that uh, scored the first goal. Valkanis from Torgi and Kelly. Doubling up uh, Canton's advantage here. Dumped in behind the net. It's picked up there by Matt Biancooley. He sends it over to Jack Walsh. Walsh has his the puck stolen. Goes it, clears it up along the boards. Comes up to the right point where it's picked up there, thrown in front. And Walpole will come out with it. Walsh clears it into the behind the uh, Canton net. It's picked up there by Leo Owens for the Bulldogs. Pat Drury battling in the corner for it. Puts it behind the net. Stolen by uh, Jackson, but there's nobody there for Walpole. Canton takes it back again. Jackson with the puck. Good. Looking for somebody at the left point, and it's cleared the length of the ice. This will be icing. Faceoff will come back to the left of uh, Colin Davis in the Bulldog net. Davis is only a freshman, wow. Only a freshman. Okay, the face off. One by Walpole, Finkelstein wins it. A shot by Curran doesn't get through. Curran with the rebound, gets it up to the point. Shot wide of the net by uh, Fouks. Cleared in behind. It's picked up there by Hunter. The Fouks. Fouks again fakes the shot. Shot. Oh, just a wider than the fast on the near side. Walpole putting some pressure on now behind the goal. And Canton comes away with it. Bringing it down to Sean Conley. A shot wide of the net. Rebound off the post by A.J. Thomas. 
Curran. Finkelstein, Finkelstein in the low, shoots. Save. As Finkelstein ended up in the net. And he comes up limping again. He had a gimpy knee that he hurt in the last game. It looks like he re-injured it again this game. Andrew is the team's leading scorer. Well, they can't afford to lose him for long periods of time. All right, uh, Albert Lassad will take the draw for Walpole. Brian Middleton thrown out of the uh, face-off circle for Canton. Lassad chasing down. Falzone giving battle along the boards. He gets it, dumps it back, comes over to Picaro. Picaro gets it ahead. Nice play defensively by uh, Bianculi. Bianculi is shot on net by uh, Grady Murphy that Davis holds on to for the faceoff, which will come to his right. 10.53 left to go in the second period. Bulldogs on top, two to nothing, and a pair of goals by Andrew Valkanis. Cox with the puck, gets it back up to Walpole shot through a screen is wide. Blake Lee backhands it in. Still bouncing. Chasing it is Jackson for the Timberwolves. Canton comes away with it. No, they don't. Cox has bumped off it into the day. He comes back out, gets it up the point to, to Blakely. Blakely shot through a screen, a save. I don't know how he saw that. That did. Play is both things running. Oh, just deflected down. Uh, Ryan Walsh deflected that puck down and it just missed the far post. Walpole clears it. I mean, Kent clears it. Big hit there on uh, Fouks. Curran chasing down. Blakely rides uh, uh, Kelly off the puck. Cleared up along the boards, kept in at the point. Uh -oh. But just for a second, comes over to Fouts. Dumped back into the zone. And it's cleared in. Eamon Kelly chasing it down. He's got Walsh sending it around the boards to uh, Hunter. Hunter to Ben Cooley. Ben Cooley looking for uh, Curran. Shot cleared wide. It was Hunter, he's in there with, he's got to be cool. Oh, he had uh, Curran, but they couldn't connect on it. Comes back over to Curran. Uh, he had uh, Donahue in front there, I think, not Curran. Hinton with the puck, coming in, going around, a shot. And Walpole arguing that there should have been goalie interference on that. Unfortunately, it looks like it's gonna fall on deaf ears. Captain Jack Walsh not too happy that his goalie got run into there. I mean, they did call it on Declan Hunter at that same uh, end of the net, end of the, the rink. Face-off will be to Alpen Alps left. Face-off won by the Bulldogs, and it doesn't go out. Rolled right along. 
But that goes up into the protective netting. As uh, Falzone puts a big hit on one of the uh, Canton players. Has a few words for him. Chirping with the bench now. Falzone gets it up ahead to Murphy. Murphy loses it. Coming in for Kenton. Shot high up over the net by uh, Delello. Folks gets it up to the out, but not out. Up through a screen, a shot kicked wide by Applin Alp. And we've got another face off. I don't know why the uh, face-off was called, unless it's uh, an icing call. That must be it, because the face-off is to Tim's left. Comes around, stuck in the bad break there. It's stuck in the officials' f skates. Battling there is being Cooley. Canton comes up with a shot and a save by Applinap with uh, Jack D. Girolamo standing on the doorstep. 7.42 left in the second period. Canton on top, two to nothing. One by the Bulldogs. Shot through a screen, cleared into the corner by Applinap. Walpole starting out. Kept in at the point by uh, Declan Hunter. He gets it over to Finkelstein. Finkelstein throws it in front. Shot save off of Curran. Hunter again. Goal! Declan Hunter puts in the rebound for Walpole. Walpole's on the board finally. Great play. Not giving up at all on that. Uh, 7.40, the time of the goal. Walpole uh, cuts it back. So it cuts the deficit in half, two to one, on a nice lift shot uh, by uh, Hunter. It was a delayed penalty being gonna be called on Canton, but they wave it off after the goal gets scored. Walpole hanging in there, tough. Coming down. Uh, Eamon Kelly for Canton. Goes up into the neutral zone and cleared back in behind the net. Blakely there for Walpole. Jackson gets it up ahead. Comes across, here he goes. He's got uh, Ryan Walsh shot. Loved and held on to by Colin Davis. Unassisted goal, they're going to say on that for Walpole. So Walpole uh, scores on Declan Hunter's goal. 6.47 left in the second period. Canton on top, 2-1. to one. Taking the draw for Walpole is Tim Donahue. Have to give a little plug for Tim in the off season. Donahue is a cameraman for the Walpole Media Corp. Donahue backhands it in behind the net, chasing it down, battling away. And it comes out. Here comes uh, Kitten coming down. Going down behind the net is uh, Eddie Gillis. Still cradling the puck, gets it up to the point. Cleared in behind the net. Big hit thrown by uh, Falzone on James Young. And they're calling Falzone for a penalty. I don't believe it.
Time of the penalty, 7.51, 8.51. To the head for foul zone on that. Shot blocked before it can get through. Blakely with the, the stop. Okay, there's a break out for Walpole. Flipped over to the side. Finkelstein picks it up. Gets it off the boards. Kicks it ahead. Back into the neutral zone. Here's a big break here, three on two momentarily, but uh, Picaro can't hold on to it. Comes up to the right point, gets passed. Sean Conley, oh. Finkelstein overskated it. Another big hit thrown by Blakely. Picking it up is, uh, again, is uh, Conley for the Bulldogs. 104 left on the penalty. On Walpole, puck comes up to Picaro. Picaro coming down, sets up. Hugh, he was looking for a deflection in front by uh, A.J. Thomas, but couldn't connect with them. Up to the right point, blocked by uh, Jackson, and cleared out of the zone nicely by uh, Cox. And Walpole will clear the length of the ice here. Cut some more time off that uh, power play for the Bulldogs. 30 seconds now left on the man advantage for the green and white. Puck goes into the Walpole net, uh, bench area. And the faceoff will be right in front of the Walpole bench. Hinton wins the draw. Young with the puck. He's got uh, Fanouf with him. Fanouf bringing it down the left side. Coming in. Cleared is still by Walpole. Hunter has his pass taken away. Coming back down. Shot cleared wide of the net. Walsh with it, sends it up to Curran. Curran throws a bounce win, though. Looked like the same type of shot that eluded uh, Applenap in the first period, but uh, the lucky bounce goes right into Davis's glove this time. 3.52 left in the second period. Canton on top, 2-1. to one. Walpole's goal unassisted by Declan Hunter. Walpole wins the draw. Blakely throws it around behind the net. Folks is there for Walpole, and now Jackson throws it in behind the net. Walpole comes up with it. It's uh, Cox, and Canton starts out. Oh. 29, uh, Brewery just couldn't quite get it. Okay, Ryan Walsh with it for Walpole. Dumps it in, thrown ahead. Blakely fires in. Just wide of the net on the goalies left, right. 317 left in the second period. Chasing it over is Grady Murphy. Folks lays a hit on uh, Delello. Folks still battling there. Comes back up. Lassad out of comes a, a save by uh, Shot, oh, just misses by Di Girolamo in an open uh, left side of the net and couldn't get it in. Uh, cleared out to the neutral zone. 2.39 left in the second period. Bouncer, Applenap easily gloves the lifter by Conley and he'll have a face off to the right, uh, to the left of Applenap. 2.34 left in the second period. Canton on top, 2-1. to one. A pair of goals by Andrew Valkanis. He was assisted on both of them by uh, Brendan Torgi and uh, Eamon Kelly. 
Shot cleared wide up into the protective netting by Appledap. Faceoff again will come to his right. Uh, left, left. My right, his left. Comes up with the draw, shot by uh, Tim Applenap, and it gets stuck in his equipment right off the faceoff. He's off the boards. Lit up along with Jackson has it. Looking, can't get it out. There's a steal. A shot. Right leg save by Applenap. Comes up to the left point. Kept in. Momentarily, but it comes out to the neutral zone. Chasing it down is uh, Cox for Walpole. Being Cooley with the puck. Comes up the boards. Jackson can't get it out. Kept in. It's kept out. Yeah, nice. Jackson chasing it down. Chasing Leo Owens. Center ice. Dumped back in by Walpole. By Jack Walsh. 138. And counting it in this second period. Faceoff will be to the left of Davis. In the uh, Canton net. Stein gets it up to the point. Shot, shoot, shot, shoot. Save. Hunter with it again. Drops it back to the point. Through his screen. It's blocked. In front again. Nobody there for Walpole. Here comes Blakely. Blakely gets it. Corrals it. Sends it into the corner behind the net. Chasing it down as Griffin Curran for Walpole. He comes up with it. Shot. Cleared to the right side by Owen. Comes out to center ice. Blakely comes up with it for Walpole. Gets away. Hunter is able to dump it back into the uh, zone. Canton gets it up, but Blakely gets it again. Looking for Hunter. Stolen by Canton. Puck uh, stayed a lot in the neutral zone right here now. Shot gloved and held on to by Applenap with 36 and a half seconds left in this middle frame. Canton on top, two to one, two goals by Andrew Valcanis, Walpole's goal by tri-captain uh, Declan Hunter. Well, Hunter, that's his 13th goal of the season, ties him with Finkelstein for the most goals. Clear it up, picked up nicely. Here's Jackson coming down, loses a skate. Comes up to the point. Walsh through a screen, right pad save, cleared into the corner. Walpole comes up with it. Oh, cleared into the corner, 13 seconds. Nobody over there for Walpole. Picaro sends it ahead. Puck at the feet of a Kent player. And the horn ends, uh, horn sound ending the second period. Uh, each team came up with one goal. That period, uh, Canton doubled their advantage with Valcanis scoring from Brent, Brendan Torgi and Eamon Kelly, 125 into the period. Uh, but uh, Walpole came back at the 851 mark, uh, I'm sorry, at the 740 mark with Declan Hunter scoring unassisted. That's the way we stand after two periods. We're gonna make a new sheet of ice. We'll be back shortly with third period action. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the John Gallo Ice Arena in Bourne, Massachusetts, on the Cape, where your Walpole Timberwolves are meeting the Canton Bulldogs in the Division II quarterfinal state tournament with the Bulldogs on top, two to one, 
on a pair of goals by Andrew Valkanis. Tri-captain Declan Hunter has the Walpole goal and we're underway. 15 more minutes of regulation play here. Walpole is to clear the zone. Conley bounces the puck up. Taken by Biancooley. Biancooley clears it around along the boards. It's stopped there by Ryan Doucette for Kenton. Here's a shot that whistles wide of the net of Tim Applenap in the Walpole's net. Left point, shot. Knocked down, nope. Gets past uh, Jack Walsh, goes into the corner. Canton comes up with it. It's uh, Torji, who's got two assists already. And save. Oh, there's a giveaway at center ice. Shot whistled wide of the net by uh, Conley for Canton. Thomas with it for Walpole, for Canton. Stolen by Griffin Curran. Curran coming back. Ah, but he loses it off his stick. Goes in the corner. Fanouf with the, for the. Picaro comes up with it. Bouncing puck. Goes over to Will Blakely. Blakely sends it down. This could be icing. No, they're going to wave it off. Jay Kelleher picks it up for Canton. Going behind the net. He drops it off for Fanouf. Comes out and. Uh, Folks can keep it in at the left or right point. Gets it now, sends it up to center ice. It's oh, over the stick, cleared away. Folks with it now. He takes a tumble, and we've got a call. And it looks like Canton, uh, Brendan Picaro will get a tripping call. Time of the penalty, uh, 148. So Walpole will have its first power play of the game. Faceoff will be to Colin Davis's right, left, 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 left. Goes, puck goes in behind the net. Cleared up along the, cleared along. Applenap stops it behind the net. Leaves it for being coolied. Matt picks it up. Starts skating down, heading down the middle. Fires it in behind the net. The one over for it is Joey Cox. Kept in at the point by Walsh. Gets it to Hunter, back to Walsh. Shot up over the top of the net by uh, Save, kept in. Hunter with it, throws it in behind the net. Cox there for Walpole. Comes up and uh, being cool, he can't catch up to it. It'll go down into the Walpole net zone. 110 left to go on the penalty. Walpole's power play. Looking to get something here. Finkelstein has the puck stolen from him. Okay, Walsh starting up for Walpole. Jack, one of Walpole's try captain. Cleared into center ice. Being Cooley picks it up there for the T Wolves. He loses it to uh, Valkanis. Being Cooley coming down, drops it back for Hunter. Being Cooley with it, sets up shot, save. Off the boards. Walsh with it. He's got. We've got Being Cooley in front. Just go! Matt Being Cooley ties it up for Walpole. Woo! We are deadlocked here. Time of the goal, three minutes, 31 seconds. As Matt Biancooley fired a shot from the, just outside the top of the circle that beat uh, Davis low to his left side. So we've got a whole new game with 11.29 left to go in regulation. Face off at center ice here. Joey Cox take the draw for Walpole.
Hinton wins the draw. Finkelstein got one assist. I didn't hear who got the other. Sorry about that, but uh, Walpole does tie it up. I know Matt got the goal. Finkelstein had an assist, and I didn't catch the other one. Clear it out. Here comes Jackson. Jackson's shot steered wide. Jackson gets it again. Cleared up along the boards. Kenton breaking out. Fanouf with it. The puck goes in behind the Canton bench. The faceoff will be at center ice. With 10.41 left in regulation, we're deadlocked 2-2 two to two here. Goals by uh, Declan Hunter and Matt being Cooley. For being Cooley, it's his fourth goal of the season. Being Cooley chases the puck down, plays it up, it'll be outside the zone it goes. It will be face off to the right of Tim Applenap in the Walpole goal. Cox on the draw for Walpole against uh, Colin Blake for uh, Canton. Face off one by Walpole being Cooley, dumps it in behind the net. Comes up to Murphy, but it's stolen along the boards. Uh, it was Curran actually who lost the puck, not Murphy. Yep. And a, a check by Hunter sends uh, Ryan Doucette through the boards as the door opened up on that hit there. Face off will be to the right of Applenap in the Walpole net. Pat Drury goes behind the net, turns, fits, fans on the shot, cleared up. Off the boards, goes up and out. This might be icing. Goes, no, the goalie had to make a save on it. So it was, no, icing was waved off. Kept in by Donahue. Young with it for Canton. In the corner. Check in there by Jack Walsh. Up along the boards. Picked out of the zone by Murphy. Comes over to uh, Owens for Canton. Walsh with it. Oh, he loses it. Clear it up, but not out. Bringing it right back in for the Bulldogs is uh, Picaro. Shot saved by... Shot into the protective netting behind the net. And there'll be a face-off. Walpole dodged a bullet there as uh, Kent was putting a lot of pressure on. 8.53 left in regulation. Face off one by Canton, back to the point. Blocked before the shot can get through. Jackson loses his stick momentarily. Coming around behind. Cleared up along the boards. And then behind, shot out in front. Shot up over the top of the net. Rebound and Applenap dives out and holds on to the puck. With uh, 
Balconis banging away at the right post to try to jar the puck loose from Tim. 8.31 in regulation. We're still deadlocked two to two. Walpole goals by Declan Hunter and Matt Bean Cooley. Uh, Bulldog goals, both of them by Andrew Balconis. Face off to Applenaps, left, right, right. Walpole starting up, there's Finkelstein with it. Goes in the corner, looking for somebody in front. Gets it up to the point to Biancouli. Biancouli sends it back in behind the net again. Up along the boards, Finkelstein comes up with it. Battling, gets it. Fans on the shot, but gets it over. Oh. Murphy dumps it, uh, no, Curran dumps it in behind the net. Comes up to A.J. Thomas for the ball. It's kept in by uh, Curran. Shot from outside the zone by uh, Walsh. Looking at Lassad going in for four checking duties. Thrown in front, big shot through a screen, save, rebound, kicked wide, and again kicked wide. As uh, face off comes outside the zone. No, the face off uh, on a clearing there. That was icing on the play. Walpole will have the face off to the left of Tim Applenap in the Walpole zone. 7.18 left to go in regulation. We're deadlocked at two to two here. Face off one by the Timberwolves. Puck goes into the Walpole bench. And the faceoff will be right in front of the T Wolves bench. Cox taking the draw. Canton wins it. Comes, comes up to the point. And once again, it goes into the uh, Walpole bench area. And the faceoff will again be. And uh, they have to get a new puck. Faceoff will be to the left of Applin App in the Timberwolf net. 6.57 left in regulation. Doing a little bit of housekeeping in Tim's uh, crease. Looks like there might be a divot or something there. They want to clear out. Are they going to get some water to spray on it? Six fifty-seven left to go here. Walpole's a playoff home away from home. The John Gallo Arena in Bourne, Massachusetts, just over the Cape Cod Canal Bourne Bridge. And we're ready for the faceoff. Cox wins it, comes back though to Canton. Through his screen, goes up, cleared in front. Okay, here comes Cox, he sends ahead. He's got Eddie Jackson. Jackson's going down the left side, puts on the brakes, loses it into the corner. But there for Walpole is Ryan Walsh. Canton st stolen. Hitting with the puck uh, above the shoulders. The faceoff will be to the right of Colin Davis in the Canton goal. 6.34 left in regulation. We're deadlocked 2-2 two to two here in this MIAA Division II state quarterfinal hockey game. Here 
Coming to the Bulldogs down the right side. Shot goes behind the net, comes up to the left point. Over to the right point. Shot blocked in front. Lasad throws it behind the net for Walpole. Tim Bull is coming out. It's uh, Murphy, Grady going down the left side. He was looking for Lasad in front. He's driven off the play. Comes up to center ice. Bianculi sends it over to the side. Walpole's got to clear the zone. Here comes the Hinton. Blocked behind the net by Walsh to the right point. Walsh again there. Clear it out. Here comes Falzone. Falzone with it. Throws it in behind the net. Falzone drops a Canton player. That was uh, Picaro who has it now. He sends it ahead to Drury. Drury's shot is behind the net. Blakely with it for uh, Walpole. It comes up along the boards to Finkelstein. It comes out being chased by Declan Hunter following Eamon Kelly. Comes out the, the neutral zone. Blakely throws it. They've got a head. Here comes Hunter. Declan's ridden up. Oh, oh, what is that? How could he do? Shot save. Unbelievable. What a save by Davis. Finkelstein with the puck. Walpole with a golden opportunity and just could not get that puck over the uh, the fallen Davis. Bounces into the mitt of Applenap and Tim holds on to it for the faceoff. Four minutes, 30 seconds left in regulation. Stein on the draw for the T-Wolves. All right, Canton with the puck behind the net. Going out in front, shot, save, rebound, save. And, and bodies flying all over around the front of the net there. But Applenap, with a big split, is able to cradle that puck and keep it from crossing the line. Applenat have to use every inch of his uh, size to keep that puck out of the net on that play. Faceoff will be to his right with 417 left in regulation. Faceoff won by Walpole. Ben Cooley clears it behind the net to Jack Walsh. Jack sends it up. Here comes, here comes Cox. Joey coming down. Long shot up over the top of the net. It's cleared out to center ice. Walsh chasing it down. Icing is the call. With 3.58 to go in regulation. Still deadlocked two to two. off to Davis's left. It's won by Finkelstein. Circling around. He loses control. It goes into center ice. Back to the Walpole zone. Jason has to put on the brakes. Gets it out. Comes to uh, Curran. Curran sends it in behind the net. It's flipped out to center ice where it's picked up by uh, Chaput. Chaput going into the corner. Sends it around. It's kept in by Doucette. But Walpole gets it. There's a break. Finkelstein coming with, puts on the brakes, sends it over for Hunter. Gets it away. Blakely chasing it down. Sends it into the corner. Hunter's there. He gets to Curran. Oh, his shot is blocked. Well, Walpole gets it, though. Hunter with it. Drops it back to Blakely, shot through his screen, cleared wide. Ian Cooley with the puck, sends it into the corner. Going back there is uh, Conley for 
the Bulldogs. And he dumps it out. Blakely chases it down, gets it ahead to uh, Jackson. Jackson coming in and fires a shot. Save. Goes over off the boards to Ryan Walsh. Comes up to the point and it goes into the neutral zone. Cleared in by uh, Walsh. Jackson with the puck, he dumps it in by uh, Ryan Walsh. Circles behind the net, throws it in front. Oh, nobody there to run right through the crease. Walpole with the puck. Walpole, again it hits the official's skates and stops. Cleared in, that will not be Isaac. Approaching two minutes to go in regulation. Coming down is Gillis, Eddie Gillis, shot, gloved and held on to by Applenap. And the faceoff will come to his right with 1.55 left to go in regulation. Timeout call by uh, Walpole. With 1.55 left in regulation. We're tied two to two. This game uh, is really quite a, a battle for the Timberwolves who are trying to stop a 20 game winning streak by the Bulldogs. And during that 20 game streak, I don't think they had any games that they won by only a goal. Uh, let me to look back here. Oh, they had a two to one over Franklin uh, and a four to three against King Philip. But other than that, they just rolled them up. Another four to three against Reading. So uh, Walpole has definitely uh, earned its keep in this game here tonight. The same as they did against Wakefield. They didn't give up against Wakefield. They battled to a one to one draw through regulation. Uh, first uh, four on four sudden death overtime, a second three on three sudden death overtime, and then they won in the shootout to gain up to here. Whereas Canton eliminated the two Plymouth teams to move on to the quarterfinals. Face off will be to Tim Applenap's right. Under two minutes to go in regulation. The puck comes down, goes. That will be icing. Faceoff will come back to the right of uh, of uh, Applenap. Jason Finkelstein on the draw for the orange and blue against uh, Tommy Fanouf for the Bulldogs. Jason wins the draw. Canton comes up with it, a shot block. Comes up, sent down, here comes Finkelstein. Finkelstein can fly, goes down into the corner. Hunter there for Walpole, but uh, Canton comes up with the puck. Eddie Gillis with the puck. A shot, gloved and held on to by Applenap. And there'll be a face off to his right with 125 left, 85 seconds left in regulation. All right. Face off won by Walpole. Being Cooley comes up with it. Gets it up along the boards, comes into the neutral zone. Blocked there momentarily, but uh, Canton dumps it back in. Ian Cooley gets it, sends it along up to the point. Comes into the neutral zone as it jumped over the stick of uh, Jackson. Cox, oh! Jackson with it, comes down, he gets it to, thought, shut, oh! Right pad save by Davis. Here comes, coming right back, shot, and it goes up into the Walpole stands. Uh, a right pad stick save by uh, Timmy Applenap with 45.7 seconds left in regulation. 
Faceoff will be to his left. Benoof taking the draw. There's a timeout called by Canton. Applenalp must be thinking that the only games he plays in are uh, overtime or shootout games. This would, uh, if the, they are able to uh, maintain this score for the next 46 seconds, it'll be back-to-back -back overtime games for the senior goaltender. Coach Dowd said in the last game he just had a gut feeling that Timmy would be the guy that he wanted in the net. He came up huge in the net with 40-odd uh, saves uh, in the game, including all five in the shootout when the uh, T-Wolves were able to prevail. All right, both teams come back out. Lenaps, gates over. Finkelstein on the draw for Walpole. One by, he wins it. Kent comes up with it in front, comes all the way up to the point. Shot through a screen, tipped up over the top of the net. Walpole sends it up along the boards. Hunter comes up with it. Looking ahead, it's stolen by Canton. Here comes a three on three momentarily. A shot wide behind the net. Dug out by uh, Thomas for the Bulldogs. He's battling with uh, Finkelstein. Walsh there, a try, cleared away. 10 seconds to go in regulation. Canton trying to get the puck up for a last shot. Three seconds, blocked again. Shot and that the horn sounds. We're going into overtime. as uh, the T-Wolves were able to hold on and uh, get the uh, equalizer on a Matt Bean Cooley goal from Jason Finkelstein, and I didn't get the other assist. But uh, in any case, Walpole has uh, two goals, as does Canton. We will go now into a, uh, if, it's, if it's like the last round, seven minutes of four on four, Overtime, sudden death overtime. Like we just mentioned, uh, Applin App uh, was his last time out, which was uh, four days ago. Uh, no, just three days ago. And Applin App uh, went into, uh, through two overtimes and a shootout to get the victory for Walpole. Walpole will be going from right to left on your TV screen for this extra session. The uh, skaters for Walpole, Eddie Jackson, uh, Joey Cox, Matt Biancooley, and Jack Walsh. That's uh, gonna be an eight minute uh, overtime period. For Canton, we've got Balconis, uh, Kelly, Kelleher, and uh, Picaro. Walpole wins the draw. Back to being Cooley, back to Walsh. Jack skating down right in front of us. He looks ahead, he's got uh, Jackson shut. Save, goes behind the net. Jackson with the puck. He has it taken off his stick. Canton breaks out, Jackson's there again. And Canton was able to move it down into the corner. Coming back out is uh, Picaro. He's going around, tries to cut in front. And a save by Applenap as uh, Picaro tried a backhand to the Timmy Dove out and was able to hold on to for the faceoff, which will come to his left. 37 seconds have been played here in the first. Overtime, sudden death.
Paul Pohl wins the draw. Blakely sends it up to Ben Cooley. Matt looking. He's got Walpole's tying goal. Gets it up to across the center ice line. Hit and comes up with it. Walpole gets it out momentarily, but Kenton comes right back. Shot saved by Jackson, uh, stopped by Jackson. Ben Cooley going against the boards, sends it up, comes out of the zone. Kenton's got to clear the zone. Back to Ben Cooley. He gets it up to uh, Griffin Curran. He has it stolen. Blakely knocks his uh, break for Conley's shot. Gloved and held on to by Applinap in the net. Cox taking the draw for Walpole. Oh, Kenton wins it. He's up through his screen, a save. Oh, big rebound, but Kenton couldn't pick it up. Here comes uh, Cox. Looking for uh, Finkelstein, couldn't get it. Kenton coming back in, and it's driven off the puck by Cox. Here comes Walpole, coming down, going into the corner. There's Cox. Uh, it's starting back out, it's twirling around behind the net. It's Fanu, coming up along the side. Kept in, steal by Finkelstein, shot. Stopped at the left post and held on to by Davis, the uh, freshman goaltender for Canton. All right, the faceoff will be to his left. Uh, Curran on the draw. Oh, shot right off the faceoff. Steered into the corner by Davis. Kenton coming down, sent ahead, cleared back by Bian Cooley, thrown back into the wall, pole end. Bian Cooley chasing it down. He gets it up to Curran. Curran throws it up to center ice where it's picked up there by Hunter. Hunter drops it back for Bian Cooley. Matt starts out. He's got uh, Curran. Curran waiting, delaying, and has it taken off his stick. Here comes a break for Canton. And the shot, the two on three. Shot wider than that, high by uh, Conley, one of the captains for the Bulldogs. Jack Walsh to steals the puck, gets it back behind the net. Five minutes to go in the first overtime. A break for Walpole. Hunter is dumped, no call. Here comes uh, Canton. And a save, glove save, and held on to at the left post by Applinap. 4.49 left in uh, the first sudden death overtime. Finkelstein, Cox, being Cooley, and Blakely for Walpole on the ice. Blakely with it, sends it up along the boards. Jason takes it there, can't get it out. Back up to the side. Being Cooley there. Gets it. Gets it up. Walpole coming three on two for a quick time. Here comes Finkelstein looking. There's nobody there. Comes back up to Being Cooley. Let's go a blistering shot. Goes wide on the right side of the uh, Canton net. Bringing it back up is uh, Kelleher. He sends it ahead to uh, Torji. Torji fires. Applenap sends it into the corner. Torji in front again. Walpole comes back out. No shot. No. Bad pay. AJ Thomas steals the puck in front of. Uh, and flips it up over the net. Time of the goal was uh, 4.07 of the overtime. 
So Canton wins Wolf two, three to two. As uh, the players go over and congratulate Apple and App and each other after the game. Canton obviously a lot happier than Walpole. Uh, Walpole very disconsolate on the uh, front of the net. There wasn't much Tim could do on that. There was a bad rebound, came way out, and uh, Kent was just able to capitalize on it as Thomas got it lifted up high into the net. And that was it. That was all she wrote. Walpole's season ends a little bit sooner than they had hoped it would. The Timberwolves finish the year at, uh, let's see, with um, a record of uh, uh, 13, 8, and 2 overall. And took uh, Canton into uh, overtime to beat them. Uh, the final scoring, Walpole uh, had a couple of goals, uh, one by Declan Hunter and one by... Um, uh, yeah, sure. Matt being Cooley. So the teams are do the congratulatory shakes here. We would like to thank you for watching this Walpole Media Corporation broadcast of Walpole High School Boys Varsity Hockey Action. Once again, your final score from the John Gallo Arena is Canton 3, Walpole 2 in overtime. Both teams know that they played their hearts out out there and the Timberwolves gave the Bulldogs everything they could handle out there. So uh, another fine season, uh, winter season comes to an end for Walpole. Uh, uh, both boys and girls Basketball and hockey teams all qualified for postseason play. And uh, they are uh, nothing to uh, hang their heads for. Outstanding year for all of Walpole's winter sports. the teams go off the ice we will close this again once again thank you for watching this Walpole Media Corporation broadcast <laughs>